Okay, so now we're going to work out how to get these diameters um, from these cells. So we've gone through now, we've been staining like crazy, and we've now stained a lot um, of slides. And they're all now available um, on a um, Dropbox folder. Um, here and you're going to see there's lots of different slides. So some are differentiated well, um, some not so much. Uh, a lot of the times we can see these three different cell types, so we're pretty excited um, about it. So remember, the first step was just to figure out if it's differentiated or if it's not differentiated. If it's uh, differentiated then you do the cell counts and there's that other YouTube video which is going to tell you how to do that. Uh, if it's not differentiated um, or even if it is we're going to try and get the diameter of the cell and so that's what I want to talk to you about today is how to get the diameter. So what we did when we took um, these images is we took them at different magnifications. So we took some at four times magnification and they might be more useful for getting cell counts. Uh, then we took some at 10 times magnification, and they might be more useful for getting um, diameters. So I'm going to show you how to get um, diameters with 10 times magnification, um, but the, the same process could also work for 4 times magnification if you want, but for, for most diameters, um, 10 times magnification might be better. Now, even if they are differentiated, I'm trying to find like an example like this one, this P8, um, P long, it's not differentiated, but it still would be really interesting um, to get um, diameters from them. So if they're undifferentiated, we're going to get um, 10 diameters. If they are differentiated, we're going to actually get 15 diameters only five though from each different fiber type. So we have the dark, which is D1, D2, etc. Um, then we have the medium, which is the diameter of the medium, DM, and then the diameter of the light, which is DL. Okay, so how do we get these diameters? So remember, um, we've put in our species, our ID, the muscle, the slide, um, we've already counted these, uh, and now we want to get to our diameters. So again, we're going to open up image J. Um, image J, remember, it's downloadable. Uh, and I want to open up my files um, in image J. Now, the first one I'm going to open up is this calibration file. So I'm going to drag and drop that. You can see there's my calibration file. And then I'm going to open up the file of interest I have. Now, uh, here we go. Here's a file of interest. Now, remember, um, uh, with this calibration, you'll only have to do it once until you close image J. Then you'll have to you'll have to do it every time you open up image J. Um, but to make to to set some calibration, we use this little grid. So this grid is exactly one millimeter long. You can see it sort of uh, starts in this bottom left corner, ends in this top right. And so I'm going to get this line tool, and I'm going to draw a line. I might make it a bit bigger so it's a bit more accurate. I just double clicked on it. I'm going to draw a line. Oh, it didn't work. My finger slipped off the touchpad. This is probably a lot easier with the mouse. So I've drawn a line there, and now I'm going to go analyze set scale. You might remember this from second year. And so I already put in my known distance in pixels. Known distance, I'm going to put in a thousand because the units we're going to be using are micrometers. So there's a thousand micrometers in a millimeter. Um, and so that's going to give us a little bit more accuracy. And you can see I get a ratio of 2.095. Now, the most important thing to do here is to make this a global scale. So you've got to click this global thing. Click global. That's really important that you click global here because um, that's going to allow us to use that same scale in different images. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one open because um, I don't know what 
will happen if I close it. But now you can see uh, we've got our muscle uh, fiber type here. We might want to make it a bit easier to see. Um, so remember, process, filters, unsharp mask, and about 10 pixels I found worked pretty well. And it really sharpens the edges. Then I'm going to image adjust, brightness contrast. You can do this uh, manually, uh, increase that contrast, maybe drop the brightness a little bit, it's up to you. You can try and move these mins and maxes around to try and um, pull out. What do we want? Probably want the darks. We'll try and get rid of those lights as much as possible, or not too much. Um, or you can just try auto. Just keep clicking auto till it looks um, pretty good. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now we have a thing and it should be calibrated. Just to check, I'm gonna draw a line. It's like approximately the same as the line I drew on the other one. So if I measure it should be about a thousand. It's not gonna be exactly because I don't know where the line is, but I've measured it there. There's my length. It's pretty close to a thousand. If I look here, I have to go all right from one corner to the other corner and I wasn't quite there yet. So if I maybe went there, down to there and control M uh, and bring up my results. I'm getting closer and closer to a thousand. now. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna clear those away. Now I want to measure the diameter. Uh, and well, I want to measure the area because we're going to use the area to estimate the diameter. Um, we'll just use some real basic maths. A lot of these aren't circles though, so I could try and fit a circle um, over these. Um, but that's a little bit difficult, right? And you're going to spend a lot of time trying to get the circle just right. So I didn't find that particularly useful. I'm going to use this polygon tool instead. And using the polygon tool, um, I can get pretty accurate estimates of diameter. So I'm going to get the diameter of, remember, this one's differentiated, so I'm going to get five light, five medium, and five dark. So you can see there's some, um, a little bit of differentiation here. That's probably a dark, that's probably a dark, that's probably a dark, and there's a medium um, here. So I'm going to get these five, five lights here. Now you want to try and get um, some variation. Uh, I can see most of these are pretty small. Uh, so maybe I'll try these ones. Um, and then a few around here. Uh, Control plus is going to zoom in for me. Okay, nice. So here's my uh, first one that I want to do. So I can just go around, click on the edges. Okay, and now I've made a, a shape. I can go Control M, and that's going to measure the area, and it's going to bring up that area in the results tab. Cool, but I need five, so I'm going to keep going real quick. One, go around this guy. Double click to finish, Control M. And that should bring up another line in there, and it does. That's two. On this, this one down here. Control M. This one here. Control M. And lastly, this one here. M. Okay, so now if I go back to my results, I should have five areas there. So that's looking real good. I'm going to highlight them all, control C, copy, bring them into here. Um, and now what I find the easiest thing to do here is just paste them. I actually want them in a row here. So this was the area. So I'm going to copy just this area here right click where I want them to be and I'm going to paste transpose 
And that's going to put them along um, in a line like that. So now I can just delete all this. Um, and that's my light. And then I can go back to image day uh, and do the mediums um, and the darks as well. Control minus to, to zoom back out. Um, and, and you can do them at different zoom levels uh, and it should all be fine. So if I want to do this dark one here, I could just control M. Uh, you could um, go through and do five at a time. Uh, just right click, clear. Um, and you can see the area is now quite a bit bigger. So yeah, that's looking good. Uh, and so it shouldn't take too long, really. Probably like uh, five or ten minutes a slide. Um, and uh, we should be able to get some really nice data. So both Bob and I are really excited about this. Um, so we're looking forward to it. All right. So any questions, uh, you can just let me know. I'm going to stop the recording.